So, everybody here has been to kindergarten, right? Now, when I ask most people what their favorite school year was, most people will say kindergarten. And whenever I ask them why, they'll say it was because it was easy. Now, personally, I didn't like kindergarten. Why? Because a bunch of things happened to me that messed up my whole year. On my very first day of school, the bus forgot to stop at my stop. And I was really disappointed. Anyway, the, the, west, the rest of the day went fine. But that was the first in a long line of things that happened to me that I didn't quite like. Now, all the people in my class were really nice. School was starting off really fun. And my cousins went to the school too, so I got to see them almost every day. And I thought things were going to be going pretty good for the year. But that all changed in one moment. As I got off the bus one day, I noticed a big sign in front of my house that said, For Sale. So I asked my mom what it was for, and she said we were going to be moving. And I was going to have to leave behind all the friends that I made in the first couple months of school. Now, we moved right before Christmas, so we couldn't really meet anybody <coughs> at school until after the Christmas break. So I was going to be going for a couple of weeks without knowing anybody in our new town. Now, when I did go to register for my new school, though, it was on lockdown. Now, why was that? Because some person in high school had gone around shooting at the cars in the guest room. So I couldn't register that day, and I still had to wait to even meet anybody my age. Now, when I did start a school, though, I'm glad to say I was accepted pretty quickly. I made, a fr I made some friends in the first couple minutes, and, and um, it, was, it was all going pretty good. So, uh, in the first couple of weeks, we started to learn. We learned how to read and write and uh, do most, or not multiplication, sorry. We learned how to add numbers together and all that stuff. And we were finally starting to learn, at least a little bit. Now, after a while, I started to wonder when we would stop practicing 1 plus 1 and go to multiplications, stop reading A-level books and go to reading novels. Now, my parents had kind of taught me a little bit at home. So I was actually learning kind of ahead of most people in my class, and I was starting to get really bored with all the classes that I had. Uh, I would sit there and I would do all my work, and I would do it well, but I would just finish uh, five, ten minutes before everybody else. And I would sit there and I would have to wait and wait and wait for everybody else. And I really wasn't having that much fun at school. Now, it was months before the next reading came. Now, this time, Gessner was a K-5 to school, and this reason came from a grade five student. Now, up until this point in my life, I've had no experiences with racism whatsoever. I, I couldn't believe, or rather refused to believe, that anyone would discriminate others because of their race. And it was a problem that I thought I would never have to deal with in my life. Well, I was wrong. Anyway, this is what happened. One day, as I got on the bus, for some reason, I decided I wanted to go to the back of the bus and sit with the fifth graders. Now, I don't know why I made this decision, but it was a big mistake. As I walked back, I could see all the older kids looking at me, wondering what a kindergarten student, student was doing at the back of their bus. Now, as the bus took off and the conversations began, I started to wonder if I made the right decision going back there. Uh, some kids kept looking at me and then would turn away as soon as I looked at them, and some would just completely ignore me. But there was this one student who kept looking at me. Then he looked over to the bus <coughs> and asked this question. What's a stupid Indian doing at the back of the bus? Now, of course, at this time, I had no idea what that meant. But I could tell just from the way he said it that it was an insult. So I just shut myself up and waited until the end of the bus. When I got off, I went home and asked my mom what a stupid Indian was. And she explained to me that stupid was a very bad name to call someone. And I just kind of sat there, wondering why someone would insult me and call me names just because my dad was Indian. I just, I couldn't, I couldn't get wrap my head around it. And that stuck with me for the rest of the year. Now, the last and final reason that I didn't like kindergarten was because it was all English. And you might be wondering why that's a problem, but this is why. All the friends that I made who continued on in English, I lost touch with most of them because I went into French immersion. One of my friends who goes to the school right now, his name is Gavin Burke, you might know him. Uh, I was really good friends with him in kindergarten, and I barely, I barely saw him for the next five, six years, just because he continued on in English, and I was in French. And kind of like when I had to move, I lost a lot of my friends, because I lost a lot of kids.
And by now I've given them six good reasons as six good reasons as to why I didn't like communicating. And things were pretty bad for me back then. But I think that now the way I've